I'm, I'm in kind of a unique position. Uh, my father was a Methodist minister. My uncle was a Methodist minister. And my grandfather was a Methodist minister. So God was always a part of my life. But I never really had a personal relationship with Jesus Christ until I came to Scottsdale Bible. And in 1986, when we came to Scottsdale, our son, Eddie, our oldest son at the time, who was about 12, uh, got involved in the youth group here at Scottsdale Bible Church. In seventh grade, I was at a, uh, one of the church-sponsored camps. I prayed the prayer to accept Jesus in my heart. And I remember the very first thing I did after this happened was I called my parents to tell them about it. And he called and he said, I answered the phone, he said, Mom, you know, I accepted Christ. And I went, good. Uh, you know, I didn't fully understand that because that was prior to my own acceptance of Christ. And that compelled us all to start checking out what was going on there at Scottsdale Bible. As a matter of fact, our youngest daughter, Debbie, who was only 10 years old at the time, realized from her lessons how important it was to be baptized. So we very happily got baptized right along our, uh, alongside our 10-year-old daughter, Debbie. The youth ministry for our children is really what drew us all here, without a doubt. It was such a critical part for me growing up, and it is such a critical part for my children today. And it's just so very neat to see Him work in them and through them, even at this young age. That's why I'm so thankful for Scottsdale Bible, because they offer so many opportunities through their children's ministry. They love going to the Awana, they love going to um, their Sunday school program, and just on random occasions, they'll come up to me and say a Bible verse, and that just warms my heart. So neat to see. These are written that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. Somewhere along the line, we just blinked. And lo and behold, our oldest grandchild, Faith, is now the same age that our youngest daughter, Debbie, was when we first started attending 26 years ago. Compelled by grace, to me means that we're understanding and appreciative of the grace God has extended to us and that we're compelled by that grace to do what we can to extend it to others. Diane and I are making the biggest financial commitment to Compelled by Grace that we've ever made and we're doing it on faith. But that faith is backed up by the past 26 years experience of coming to Scottsdale Bible and seeing how Scottsdale Bible affected our lives and our children's lives by the activities, the youth groups, the ministries that we've been involved in, the Bible studies, all of that is what is our core. Uh, it's, it's, Scottsdale Bible Church is our community. It's our refuge. The church is about creating opportunities and places for people to feel comfortable, to feel loved, to be involved. And we think Compelled by Grace is going to only further that and is going to be an additional opportunity for it. And so I want to do my part to do what I can to preserve not my legacy, but God's legacy here through Scottsdale Bible. To God, to love the world that He gave His only Son.